Hello viewers, here is a General Electric 2.4 GHz cordless telephone. This is model 27910GE1-B and this is made by Atlinx or The Atkins and it is made in the China. General Electric used two different brands primarily over the years to make their cordless telephones. Atlinx or the Atkins was one of them and the Thompson was the other one. The Thompson brand could not make screens. I don't think a single screen that they ever made still works to this day. And Atlinx seemed to have a decent reputation with screens, but I have found their telephones to simply just flat out quit working after so many years so generally speaking there's very few pieces of equipment as far as telephone equipment goes that General Electric made over the years which is not totally outrageous so with that being said I don't have high expectations for this telephone either there are certainly outrageous elements to its design for instance, there is no indication of whether or not it's on. No indicator. Obviously, there's no screen. doesn't say anything like that. No indicator whatsoever. No indicator for being in program mode. Um, okay, something just got programmed. No clue what it is. It has a belt clip, interestingly enough. And it takes a 3 AAA cell battery. The original one is right here. It uh, was made by the GP and it is the nickel metal hydride chemistry. Interesting that they decided to put a, a nickel metal hydride battery in there which would be slightly more expensive than the nickel cadmium chemistry. It does have headset capability. Looks like it may have some kind of a light on top of that antenna. I suspect there's no transmitter in there, it's simply a visual thing. And I guess that right there is supposed to be an antenna or something, I don't know. Page button. So let's go ahead and plug this thing up. It looks like uh, if you wanted to wall mount it, you'd need some kind of a bracket that goes on there perhaps. Okay, let's plug this up. And I believe there's two different ringtones. Battery give out? Um. I don't know what happened. Okay, that's tone number two. And that's tone number one. And this is already operating in a very flaky manner. Okay, let's call it up before it breaks. Looks like the in use light is flashing. So it at least does that. Does not auto talk. Hello? Oh, it seems like it actually works. I'm gonna hit the mute button. Testing, testing. Okay, the mute button seems to work. Okay, so like I said before, most General Electric telephones are pretty deplorable. Not sure what transpired there. Let's try another call. Okay, the buttons are working. Let's go ahead and turn the ringer off. 
and see if it actually obeys the switch. Of course, we'll have no way to know that it's ringing because... Oh no, we will know because it has that visual indicator there. Okay, it does seem to have obeyed the switch. Let's go ahead and make an outside call. Get this amplifier turned on. I don't know if this just doesn't give any feedback or it's not working. Okay, it seems to have stopped responding. And we did see that it worked a few seconds ago. tell if it's charging or not. It looks like it's not charging. And it would seem like it's not charging. Contacts look perfectly clean. I would not be surprised if it just doesn't work. That was flashing a few seconds ago. Now let's try again. Now it wants to work. I'm going to call the Farmer Jones lukewarm line. Oh, now the volume works. high. And that's all we got out of the controls. And it mysteriously stopped working. It's back. All right, let's call the test phone. Couldn't get all the digits dialed in time before it stopped working. Eh, still couldn't do it. Now it looks like it's in use, but it's obviously not. That seemed to turn the light off, but it still doesn't indicate that it's charging. Maybe the charge light just doesn't work. That's got quite the clarity to it. That time it looked like it may have turned off. Okay, let's try again. The volume button is not working again. I couldn't get all the buttons down before it stopped working.
Okay, I'm going to record. I'm going to pause the video here. Video is resumed, and I'm going to hang up now. Actually, I'll change the channel first, if we can, so we can hear what that sounds like. Okay, and off. So the phone is, oh, zoom in, I've got to zoom out here. So the phone, I hate to toss something in a scrap bin that's so nice, cosmetically anyways, obviously it's not very nice uh, as far as performance goes. It really is in pretty good condition. What I'll probably do is just notate that this doesn't really work right and it'll just be a display piece because I can't toss it looking this nice. Okay, well that's it. Another outrageous piece by GE.